This is the story of how I put an $18 roof rack on the topper for my pickup truck. So back when I got my topper in 2013, I didn't think I'd really need a roof rack because I just put all my stuff in the bed of the truck. But then later on we decided we may want to um, have a canoe and tow a canoe around. So I took some measurements of the topper and discovered it was six feet long. So I hit the interwebs to discover uh, how much it was going to, to then add a rack. And it seems like you need to buy the rails, and they're anywhere from 150 and up. And then you get the crossbars, and they seem to be anywhere from 150 and up. So instead of spending $300 minimum uh, plus shipping, and not really knowing how that was going to go, I decided to hit my favorite store and look at dozens and dozens of roof racks and then make a decision. So I was pretty sure I wanted a roof rack with the main rails that would sit flat against the top of the topper to help distribute the weight of whatever I had up there. So I started looking, walked around the yard, looking at all the different types of roof racks on the minivans and on the sport utility vehicles, and taking measurements to find something that was six feet or right around there, maybe a little under six feet. Okay, so this one is flat to the body. It's not wide enough yet though. This is nice. I think it should be five feet is what I measured. So let's keep looking. So I came across a Ford Excursion that had nice wide rails and they were five feet long. So I figured I'd give this one a shot. Each rail had seven Torx bolts and luckily I brought my Torx bits for my screwdriver. The yard charged me a whopping $18 for the rack. So I get it home and I set it on top the topper to make sure it's wide enough and long enough and it'll clear the garage door. I centered the rack on the topper and then drilled the first hole and then put the bolt through. Discovered the bolts were too short because my topper has insulation in it. So I couldn't use the original Torx head screws from the excursion. I had to get some button head Allen screws, stainless, and I went ahead and picked up some fender washers also and some locking nuts. I had the rack taped down onto the topper so it wouldn't move while I was drilling one hole at a time and putting each bolt in as I went so it wouldn't uh, move or the holes would be lined up nice. I used clear silicone caulk in each of the holes and then I can't remember if I use Loctite on the bolts or if I have locking um, nuts. So this is the $18 rack fully installed. I had plans on painting it, repainting it um, before or after installing, but I never did it, as you can tell. So I was thinking that because I have the Super Crew version of the Ford pickup truck, that I was going to need a crossbar to go over the front of the cab. So I picked up a couple bars from Craigslist, uh, Thule bars, for $30. Then I modified the rear bar to go in the tracks on the topper. I threaded some one inch strap steel to slide in the channel and then I used some half inch strap to make the tensioner to hold the bar. So I guess the total was actually about $48 if you include the Thule bars. But the base rack was still $18 so I'm going to stick with that. Anyway, thanks for watching my video and if you liked it hit the like button and maybe leave a comment down below and think about subscribing. Thanks again. Bye.